Back to part two. Back to part two. Anyway, she stopped in mid sentence. Box. Yeah. So I'm on this date with this guy that I went, that I've been seeing. I mean, we're not together, but we've been seeing each other. Yeah, and he's cute. Um, he's yeah. nice. He's definitely the pick of the ex boyfriends. Yeah. And um, ex yet? No. He is a whole boyfriend. Sorry. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, so I'm on this date, and I had told the ice cream man that my name was Tara. So, because we don't, we're not going to tell people like that the real name. No. And yeah. so then, my phone rings, and, but it's an unrecognized number, and I want to pick it up, you know, because if it's, like, if it's like someone from work asking me to cover for them, I actually have a phone, you know, something like that. So I picked it up, and I'm like, hello? And he's like, is Tara there? And I'm like, who? Because, you know, I, I thought it, when it, it's the ice cream man, it shows up as the ice cream man. Talk, like, why would he call you? I don't know. So then I'm like, who? And he's like, Tara. I'm like, who is this? He goes, I'm looking for Tara. And I'm like, I think you have the wrong number. And I hung up. The second I hung up, I looked at the guy I was with, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, right up. And he goes, what? And I'm like, he goes, the ice cream man. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I'm supposed to tell him my name is Tara. I explained the story to him. He goes, good job. So then I get a text from the same unrecognized number, and he's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, nothing. How about you? And then all of a sudden I get a call from the same number. And I pick up and I completely change my voice. I was like, hello? I was like really high pitched, you know, because I, I couldn't have the same voice twice in a row after having not known who Tara was. And, um. But I hope he never gets to voicemail Regina. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so then, um, then I'm talking to him, or he, he goes, he's like, you know, how are you? I'm like, oh, I'm on a date right now. I'll call you later. And he said, well, of course, my fake voice. And he's like, oh, okay. I'm like, okay. So I hang up the phone, and I looked at the guy I'm with, I'm like, crap. And he's like, what? I'm like, I always have to answer his calls. And he goes, why? I'm like, because always he's going to go to voicemail. He's going to say, hey, this is Regina. Leave me a message. <laughs> and he's like, good job. <laughs> is this a ice cream man, though? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I feel like I'm borrowing my sister's phone. <laughs> Dude, you don't have me. I can't let, like, me? I told, he's such a creeper. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I don't want to lose my connection to the ice cream man because I get ice cream on command. That's well, my like, biggest connection. Like, yeah! I connection to the Backstreet Boys and it's still not as good as, that. okay, yeah, it is. But, like, it's still the same emphasis. Not other prima donnas. Seriously, uh -oh. Nick Carter. Okay, I don't want to talk about la 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 I haven't gotten to work, though, twice. I had to go to work today. Was it was so hot. <laughs> and she didn't even collect your tips. <laughs> Those tips are for me. Whoever, like, splits them up, it's mine. No, that's not going to work. Yeah. Well, she's nice, they take them. Who? Ashley. Ashley. Oh, yeah, Ashley's nice. But they're not going to get... Yeah. I gave you yours back. They won't give them to you, unless it's like, yeah, we're best friends. We, we need another story. Oh, my boyfriend slept over last night. <laughs> Because the first time I, I got there. away with it, okay, here's the story. First time comes over, because I have a hot tub and everything, and I guess I'm rich, so we all come over and bring his hot tub, whatever. And we snuck him into the house. Like, he was in my basement, in my clothes. Did we tell, did we have the story? No. Mm. No. Well, he was there, and he stayed till like, 3 o'clock in the morning. So that was cool. But then we, he, he went home. Parents didn't know. Parents didn't know. I totally got away with it. I was so proud of myself. I was just like, I was still not over it. This was like three weeks ago, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still not over it. She doesn't rebel against her parents. Like Nothing like not a bell as then they know. Like I get satisfaction in rebelling and they don't know about it. Right. But like you don't do that crazy, crazy stuff like having a guy speak over without them knowing. That um, was your first time. I you know, know, right? No, no, yeah. Um Yeah, I'll yeah. I Okay. Okay, then last night comes around. And like I know he's coming, whatever, and it's like he shows up at like midnight and I'm in the hot tub with her and a couple no, they didn't show up yet. But like he comes over big deal, you know. Parents are in bed because my brother has his friends over, and whenever we have friends over, they, like, bunker down in their own room and, like, never leave. Because they hit on by your brother's friends yesterday. You know, they're geek gross. sophomores. It's ridiculous. But oh. we have dogs, so they all keep them in the bedroom, so, like, the dogs don't bark anytime anybody comes in and out of the rooms. So I was like, okay, Troy's going to stay here for a while, blah, blah, blah. And Brandon comes out. It's, like, midnight, and he's like, me, Jake, and blah, 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 are going somewhere. I was like... Why are you telling me this? Because now he has seen Troy being there, so even if he leaves, he's going to tell parents, what, what was Troy doing here at midnight? Oh, the ghost stories. Uh, you can tell that story. Geez. And so, I decide, being awesome that I am, to have him sleep over. And, like, last time I was going to have him sleep over, but he didn't, so I was like, oh, he won't stay over this time. 
Okay, we get in <laughs> at like 2 o'clock in the morning, and we go in the basement, because that's where all the friends sleep. Brandon's has in their room. And I pull out the bed, and we all fall asleep. It's not, and then he decides that he wants to take a shower, right? Because he smells like chlorine. But the one in the basement, the water's broken, so it's too hot, so you go upstairs. The bathroom is across the hall from my brother's room. Are you kidding me? You're interrupting my story. We've heard it. Keep going. Okay. Go. Anyway, so he goes to the shower and he goes, and we fall asleep. It's like 2 in the morning, and he has to leave by 5, because that's when the parents wake up. I don't know why they wake up that early, but that's when they wake up, and I need to sneak him out before they get up. You totally just prodded me with sorry. nail. I'm sorry. So, I just set my alarm for 445, because like, it'll take him a while to get up. And so, 445 rides come around, and I'm starting to wake him up. Yeah, it's now 20 after 5 in the morning. He's still not getting up. People are moving around upstairs, so... You're talking really loud. I'm sorry. Not now. Then. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I go upstairs, and it's Mom. And she's, like, dressed, ready to go. And so I tell Mom, I'm like, you're going to be mad. She's like, what? I was like, twice here. She's like, I don't care. And I told him, told her that she slept, he slept away from us. And I was like, and I totally played it off. I was like, well, he's probably in the bed now because I left. And so, go back downstairs fall back asleep, because I have to work at 11, so I set my alarm for 10. And I was like, Troy, you can stay, I'm sleeping until 10, whatever. And so we fall back asleep. Apparently, Mom has failed to tell Dad that Troy's there. So, <laughs> Dad comes walking into the basement. I see it's him, and I fall back asleep, because, you know, it's not good. Yeah, not so much. He comes and pulls me out of the bed and walks me into the hallway, and he's like, Brittany, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, what? Why is he here? I was like, Mom knows he's here. He goes, right, and then storms off like I was lying or something. And then Mom comes home because she went shopping at 5 o'clock in the morning and left. And I was like, Mom, you didn't tell Dad that Troy was here? And she's like, I had to go shopping. I was like, that's kind of important detail. And so but everything has to do. And not, then Dad wouldn't talk to me for the rest of the morning. Really? And um, I'm like, Mom, I think Dad's mad at me. And she's like, no, he's just in shock. Well, yeah, and he made me drive him to his car, which is at the end now, of the driveway. Now, then he was driveway. afraid to go upstairs because he was afraid of my dad. So he made me go upstairs first, scope out the whole house, make sure nobody was in it, and then he could go upstairs, and then he was afraid to go outside. She had to drive him to his truck. I mean, it's so far away down the driveway. Okay, tell stories. That was my story. You won't I just find it funny that that's like, uh, that's like how your parents reacted. It's kind of funny, though. Because it's like, yeah. my, mom, my mom told me once I turned 18, she was like, you know, oh, if you, wanna, if you have a boyfriend, you want to sleep over his house. That's okay. Until I bring around the twenty nine year old guy that I'm seeing and she's like, You can't do that. Sean's not twenty nine. Yes he is. Oh he's twenty eight. He turned twenty nine on May twenty sixth. Oh, I didn't know that. Well yeah. like happy birthday. Um <laughs> yeah, so then I bring him around and then well, that, all that changes. It's like, you know, you can't do Our that. Parents are it's actually so different. <gasps> I got another story. Right there. Yeah, but you don't have time for it. No, the story about how he pulled yeah, in when your parents left. Yeah. You no. saw them. It's not that important to them. You that was the best moment ever. You guys don't care. No. Oh my god, okay, long story short, he showed up at the park when her parents were there, but I was like, if, he, if her parents leave before he shows up, I will get on my knees and pray to God. Yeah, they pull out, I have a picture of it, the van pulling out, his truck pulling in, I actually dropped out of the swing, I went like this, and thank God, I'm still not over it. She fell backwards off the swing. That hurt. I had in wood chips, man. Hey, you had it coming. We had wood chip issues. A lot of them. I bitched out we her We probably wrap it up. Yeah, I did. What? Look at the camera, not me. Who was the four bros? It was freaking wood. It was wood chips, man. I could understand if you was like pelting like living worms at you. I don't you. put up with disrespect, y'all. I hear her mouthing things because her spit makes sounds. <laughs> <laughs> We're going now. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.